Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the releases that I picked up during the month of May. There was a lot of great titles released, um, quite a bit of titles overall. There were some that I haven't seen yet, some that I have, so um, I thought I would just go over these week by week. So the first week we have this film called Supercell. I never have taken the time to watch this one yet. I haven't heard many good things about this one, but it is a storm movie. I do want to check it out. Um, I got Champions. I haven't had a chance to watch this one yet, but I've heard a lot of great things. Looks like a real good film, so I'm looking forward to checking that one out. I did get Deep Impact on 4K. Really loved this release. I enjoy this film. Had a good time with it. I thought it was a really good disaster film. So happy to have that one. And then from Cauldron Films, I got number 14 in the Cauldron line, Frankenstein 80, which I have not seen yet. It's got this slip box with some nudity on the front. And then from Best Buy, I got the Star Wars still books. I got A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi, which I'm happy to have those. Um, I got The Sunday Woman, which I have not checked out yet. Get My Gun, Innocence in Paris, God of Gamblers, and I got um, Pete Nick at Hanging Rock, the um, second sight release with the hard box. So very happy to have those in my collection. And then during the second week, we had a lot of great releases. I got Knock at the Cabin, 4K release with a slip. I also got the Still Book. I enjoyed this film. I thought it was pretty good. I got L.A. Wars for the MVD Rewind Collection. So from Kino Lorber, I got Stone Cold, The Experts. Kamikaze, and There's No Tomorrow. Then I got Unwelcome with a slip. From G Kids Shop Factory, I got um, The Unicorn Wars. And then I got um, Tiger Cage, the collection. I got Whose Child Am I? And Weekend Murders. From Arrow Video, I got Hand of Death. And then I got The Three Musketeers and also The Four Musketeers. From Arrow Video, I got The Beta Test, this interesting looking slipcover. And from Indicator, I got The Shiver of the Vampires and also Two Orphan Vampires. And then I was fortunate enough to be able to get the Superman 5 film collection still book set. So very happy to have those in my collection. Okay, during the week three, I got Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. So here's the Disney Movie Club exclusive with a slip. I also got the regular Blu-ray with a slip. And the 4K with a slip. I also got the Best Buy exclusive still book, really nice looking artwork, and the Walmart exclusive with a different slip. I got Operation Fortune on 4K. From Kendall Lorber, I got The Longest Yard and Hustle with Burt Reynolds. I got Samurai Wolf 1 and 2. I got Election and an Election 2 set. I got this two film collection um, from Shop Factory, Screen Factory, Conquest of Space, and I Married a Monster from Outer Space. I also got The Italian Job, 4K release with a slip. I got The Magic Flute with a slip. Young Ip Man, Shooter, 4K. Brotherhood of the Wolf, um, the Studio Canal release. The Italian Job Still Book, Miami Vice Still Book. I also picked up this film, um, Yakuza. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I want to say Yakuza Graveyard. I got In the Cut. And I also got In the Line of Duty, um, one through four, the box set. So happy to have that from week three. From week four, I got The Thorn, 
Then we had Creed 3 come out, so I got the Blu-ray release, the 4K Walmart exclusive release with a slip, the regular 4K release with a slip, the three movie um, collection with a slip, I got Cons Consecration, I got the VHS 99 Steelbook, also I got the Creed 3 Steelbook, I got the U.S. release for Brotherhood of the Wolf with a slip. Fist of the Condor with a slip. Crank 4K still book release. And then we had another big release. We had Shazam! Fury of the Gods. I got the Walmart exclusive um, Icon Edition. The Best Buy exclusive still book. The Target exclusive with the art cards. The regular 4K release, the regular Blu-ray release, I got the two movie collection, I also got the Running Man 4K with a slip, I got Violent Streets, and I got a DVD of Go On the Complete Series. And then for week five, the final week, I got Another Country. This right here is a Shop Factory exclusive and also another exclusive Trouble in Mind. I got Spinning Gold with a slip. I got the Maximum Overdrive Vestron Steelbook release from Walmart. I got the Newbie, the Movie release for Close. I got the People Under the Stairs 4K release with a slip. 65 with a slip. I got the Looney Tunes Collector's Choice Volume 1, the Nutty Professor um, 4K release from Paramount Presents, Cliffhanger Steelbook release for the 4K release, Dungeons and Dragons Steelbook release, and the regular slipcover release for the 4K. I got the Siege, a good person. Um, from Vinegar Syndrome, I got the Hourglass Sanatorium. I got Burning Paradise from Eureka. From Kino Lorber, I got The Night of the Hunter 4K release, excellent film. Also, I got Joy House with a slip. I got Code of Silence from 88 Films. I got the DVD release for The Warrant, Breaker's Law. And then Walmart had some exclusive slipcovers, some exclusive Western slipcovers. So far I've got Young Guns, Hell or High Water, The Hateful Eight, and Django Unchained. I've got two other ones coming. And then lastly I got the Transformers Steelbook Collection. This right here is the sixth movie collection, which I have not unboxed yet. But it has all of these nice looking still books in it. So those are all of my pickups for the month of May. Like I said, it was a busy month. A lot of great titles. Um, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the items that I picked up. And also let me know what you were able to pick up. Because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell. So that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.